and sit down. Technological Swiss Army knife for the living room. Razor's Core V2 makes anything possible, transforming a slim, unprepossessing Ultrabook into a serious gaming PC in seconds. With its dedicated bandwidth, the additional TI-82 controller lends the graphics card even more power compared to the previous Razer graphics enclosure. But is it worth investing your hard-earned cash in this device? And how smoothly do games run on the dock? We use several benchmarks and two graphics cards to answer those questions. External graphics card solutions used to be too complicated for anyone besides DIY PC builders, but today they are of widespread interest. To sit in the office with your slim ultrabook by day and play Call of Duty II with frame rates above 50 FPS with the same computer by night, that is an alluring prospect for many. As a result, Thunderbolt 3 ports are becoming more and more prevalent. Not only do they offer sufficient bandwidth, 40 Gbit S, but the compatibility standard allows nearly every laptop equipped with a Thunderbolt port to connect to an external graphics card. Before the Thunderbolt port was conceived, only a select few laptops could be upgraded by means of an external graphics card. One such configuration consisted of a PCI Express card connected to a Pay4H passive adapter. Today, more and more manufacturers are producing their own versions of this elegant solution, including ASUS, Gigabyte and HP, to name only a few. Razer, a brand known for gaming products, has already released a successor to their first x dock, the Razer Core V1. The company gave the new device a perfectly logical name, the Razer Core V2. When the Razer Caller V1 appeared on the market, we examined it closely. Our comprehensive review discussed its functionality, its case properties, and all its connectivity options. Because the Razer Caller V2 is outwardly identical to its predecessor, this time we will only briefly cover its case and installation. Our main focus will be on the benchmark results from several of today's more graphics-intensive games. This time around, we are interested in the direct comparison between frame rates on our test laptop's internal display, Razer Blade Stealth i7-8550U, versus an external monitor, the improvement in performance over our laptop on its own and the graphics power of the laptop plus XP combo compared to a desktop PC.